<laughs> hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make instant pot ribs. So smoked ribs take about seven hours to make. Traditional grilling is about two hours, but this recipe is done in 45 minutes. So quick and tender, juicy, and flavorful results. So let's get started. We'll start with one three pound rack of ribs and you can use pork loin back ribs or baby back ribs. Most of the time silver skin is removed for you, but if you see any, you can use a paper towel to help remove it from the rib side of the rack. Pat the ribs dry with a paper towel, then rub on your dry ingredients on both sides. Sprinkle on one tablespoon of seasoning salt and two tablespoons of your favorite dry rub, and I'll leave links to the ones we used in the notes. Rub the seasonings evenly over your ribs and set them aside. The secret to making ribs super fast is using an instant pot, which is a pressure cooker. Into the bowl of a six quart instant pot, add six cups of apple juice, one fourth cup of apple cider vinegar, and one third cup of barbecue sauce. Stir that together to combine. Place the seasoned rack of ribs inside the Instant Pot, wrapping it around the bowl. The bone side should be facing the center of the pot. Now cover and cook on high pressure for 25 minutes. Make sure the steam vent is set to the ceiling position. Allow a 10 minute natural pressure release and use oven mitts to switch to the venting position. Wait until the pressure gauge is dropped indicating that all of the pressure has been released. It's easiest to remove the ribs using tongs. Let any excess liquid drip off, then transfer the ribs onto a rimmed baking sheet lined with a wire rack. This will still work without the rack lining if you don't have one, but it does help to circulate the air underneath. Generously brush the remaining one third cup of barbecue sauce over the ribs. Transfer that to the oven and broil for four to five minutes on high heat. If you prefer, you can also place the ribs onto a preheated barbecue grill and grill for five minutes. This step allows the barbecue sauce to set onto the ribs. Remove the ribs from the oven and let them rest for about 5 to 10 minutes or just until they're no longer too hot to handle. All right, it is time to cut these up and serve because I'm ready for this taste test. My kitchen smells so good. <laughs> Before serving, I mean the barbecue sauce is caramelized onto the ribs and they look fabulous, but I do love to add some more barbecue sauce to serve. So we're just gonna brush on a little bit or a lot of it. And I love adding a sweet barbecue sauce because the sugars in the sauce caramelize onto the ribs and it just forms this lovely sticky sweet exterior. Delicious. Okay, that looks amazing. Now we're gonna cut into this. Oh, and it cuts through the meat so easily. I can tell it's gonna be super tender. Yeah, okay, here we go. I don't need a plate. Who needs a plate for ribs? Come on. <laughs> All right, let's pick a big one. Yep, that was a good choice. Look at how tender and juicy this meat is. Wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -hmm. That is really good. This meat is so tender, easy to chew. It's really flavorful. Yum, and that extra barbecue sauce is my favorite. Sweet and sticky. <laughs> I can't believe how fast it was to get these kind of results. So yummy. <laughs> Such a treat, an easy weeknight meal really. Doesn't take a ton of prep. And you can even use frozen ribs. Just make sure to season them ahead of time. Um, but you can just put frozen ribs right into the Instant Pot. It doesn't get any easier. This is dinner tonight. 
<laughs> Let me know in a comment below what's your favorite Instant Pot recipe. And if you guys love Instant Pot recipes. Huh. Hold on. <laughs> Finger licking good. <laughs> if you guys love more Instant Pot recipes, make sure you check that one out right over there. And these pair really well with that recipe right down there. And make sure you click below to subscribe and when you do, click that little bell icon so you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you in our next video.